Hi, this is Mark from My Keys to Music, and in this video we're taking a look at a neat feature for the Nord Stage 3. It's called Dual KB, also known as Dual Keyboard. And this training or tutorial for the Nord Stage 3 is all about you learning about this feature, what it is, how to invoke it, what makes it different than traditional MIDI connections, for example. And before we begin the actual lesson, which is an excerpt from the actual Master the Nord Stage 3 course that I have on MyKeysToMusic.com, I want you to know that this is talking about an external keyboard or an external MIDI device using MIDI to control the Nord Stage 3 and not the other way around. If you've stumbled upon this video and what you really want to learn is how the Nord Stage 3 can control other keyboards, uh, there's one cool way to do that and that's using the extern function. And if you want to see that, I already have a video here for that. If you want to take a look, that's called the Nord Stage 3 Extern Option. And there's a neat option where you can control keyboards in a real high fidelity way. Now, in this video, I show you sort of the basic rudimentary MIDI connections. Uh, then I show you connections to each panel, which are, are some nice features. But then finally, I show you the actual dual keyboard option, which if you wanted to learn about that, this is the video for you. So here's the lesson now, and thanks for watching. The Dual KB feature allows for playing and controlling either the entire panel B or one of the panel B sound engines from an external keyboard connected to the MIDI input of the Nord Stage 3. This can be handy in live situations where a secondary keyboard can be used as a controller for parts of the Nord Stage 3 on a per-program basis, and that per-program basis is one of the biggest advantages of using dual KB versus traditional MIDI because you can change the settings program by program and have a different setup every time you switch a program if you'd like. Okay, before we look at some of the details on this, let's take a step back and look at exactly what traditional MIDI is and what it does in terms of having an external keyboard connecting to your stage three. So in a traditional MIDI setup, this is not the dual KB setup, this is traditional, and I think it's important that you understand this first. I'll take a couple of stage threes here and uh, represent them as panel A and B. So I have my Nord stage three, it's a single stage three, but I'm representing panel A and B as two different graphics. And you can assume here that I have all my sound engines on for each panel. I have my organ, piano, and synth engines on for both. Now, here comes an external keyboard where I want to control the Nord Stage 3. I'm here using the Axiom 61 key external controller keyboard. If you want to see details on this, you can check them out in the links in and around this lesson or in and around this video. And then with that in mind, I'll be going MIDI out using a traditional MIDI cable, the MIDI out to the MIDI in on the Nord Stage 3. And that's how this entire setup for the next several slides is going to work. All right. So the idea is that I have a two keyboard rig. I've got my Nord Stage 3 as my main sound generation source. And then I have my Axiom as an optional secondary keyboard to control parts or pieces or all of the Nord Stage 3 externally. So with that in mind, let's take a close look at the control panel of the Nord Stage 3. And specifically under the MIDI settings, where if you hold the shift button and push the MIDI button, you'll get under the MIDI settings, go to page two, and you'll see something that looks like this. Now let's do a few setups here to understand the differences using traditional MIDI in this scenario. If I put my global MIDI settings on channel one and I set panel A and B and dual keyboard off for the time being, and I also set my Axiom to channel one, that means I'm going to actually play the Nord Stage 3 keyboard from the Axiom and you will hear the exact same uh, sounds coming out of it as if I played the Nord Stage 3 directly. In other words, it's a carbon copy. It's like having another Nord Stage 3, a mirror of it, if you will. So everything I play on the Axiom will be represented on the Nord Stage 3. And if I turn sound engines on and off, uh, it'll act accordingly. So it's like having really a secondary external keyboard, almost like a mirror image of it. Okay, so let's take another scenario. Let's just say I changed the channel two on the global setting on the Nord Stage 3. I would also have to change the channel two on the Axiom in order for me to hear anything. Now, if I were to switch these settings again and turn the global MIDI settings off and just turn panel A to channel one and panel B to channel three and dual keyboard still off, yet I keep my Axiom on channel two, what happens? If I play the Axiom right now, I will hear nothing out of the Nord Stage 3 because there is nothing set to receive or send for that matter 
on channel two in, in terms of the stage three. So that's it. It's important to know what won't work just as much as what will work. So in that case, you're not going to be uh, doing very much here. Now, let's change that channel back to channel one. And what will we get now? In this scenario, panel A is the only thing set to receive on channel one. And that means on my Nord stage three, I'll hear everything from panel A. And again, as I turn on and off sound engines on panel A, I will uh, be able to hear them or not hear them. I can adjust the volume and the effects and everything else. Uh, panel B, though, will le be left alone. No matter what I do on panel B on the Nord Stage 3, nothing I do on the external keyboard will trigger anything on panel B. Likewise, with that said, external keyboard on channel 3, and panel B is already set to channel 3, so in this scenario, I would in fact hear just panel B uh, and all the sound engines therein, whether it's on or off at my discretion. Okay, let's continue on with yet another setting. Let's take a look and put that global back on channel one and leave everything else as it is. What happens in this scenario? Well, first of all, because global is set to channel one, that means that everything on A and B will be heard again, just like it was in the earlier examples. This time you can see on panel A though, however, the number is in parentheses saying that essentially this is a duplication or a redundant listing so that's why it's in parentheses. So in another scenario, leaving all the settings the same, I can turn off all the sound engines on panel B on the stage three directly. And again, I'd hear only panel A, even though it's pushing MIDI throughout the whole Nord stage three on both panels, because I have the sound engines off on panel B, of course they won't sound. Then I can turn off everything, let's say, other than the synth engine on panel A, and I'll hear that accordingly. So I just bringing home that idea that you still have full control on the Nord stage three of all sound engines, in this traditional MIDI setup. That's not the case as much with the dual keyboard. Speaking of dual keyboard, now let's turn on the dual keyboard option. In order to do that, I actually have to hold the shift button and push the panel B button, or essentially the dual keyboard, and turn that on. And then in this scenario, I'll have both panel A and beyond with the dual keyboard on. Now you'll see a new screen over here. This is the dual keyboard setup screen, which will appear here on the main OLED display when you push the shift button and hold the dual keyboard option, you'll see this screen appear and it gives you four choices. This is one of the choices and the default choice is organ. In this scenario, assuming that this is on channel one and the panel is on channel one over here on the Nord stage three for dual keyboard, and notice how I've turned global off and panel A and B off. That's just to keep it understandable. And most likely in a dual keyboard situation, this is how you'll want to run your settings because you don't necessarily want random MIDI happening over the global channel when you're trying to set the keyboard into dual keyboard mode. Although there are exceptions for everything, this is probably the most likely scenario. So with this particular setting, you see here that on panel B, and it even says it over here, panel B, organ, will be completely controlled by the external keyboard. In other words, I will push the keys here on the Axiom and all you'll hear is the organ. Now, even if I have my synth engine on and my piano engine on, on panel B, they will not sound when I push on the external keyboard. Only the organ will sound. So now you can see here, there's some great fidelity where I can play on the Nord stage three and I'll hear just the synth and piano. But if I play on the Axiom, I'll hear just the organ. That is really, really powerful in terms of splitting things up and separating sound for depending on the gig setup you have or the performance situation. All right, let's take another scenario. Let's say that I set the dual keyboard setting to piano. I'll get the same exact scenario, except piano will be the one that's being controlled by the external keyboard. And then finally, the synth option, which is then the synth is the only thing controlled. Here again, if I were to push on the Nord Stage 3 directly and start playing the Nord Stage 3, I could hear everything except the synth on panel B. I would have no control over that and no MIDI signal being sent to sound that engine. Keep in mind, I still have to turn on the actual sound engine on panel B for it to be heard, the synth engine that is. Now, another thing to note when you're running in either the organ, the piano, or the synth only mode like this, if I set up a split on my Nord Stage 3, it will not be affected on the external keyboard. In other words, I won't have a split situation on the external keyboard. Whatever I play uh, for either of those engines will play across the entire keyboard, even if I have my Nord Stage 3 set up as a split. That's an important exception. All right, now let's look at the fourth option here with the dual keyboard, which is the panel option, which means that uh, I will be able to play the entire panel B. Ent the entire panel B will be in control of the external keyboard in terms of what I play. 
In addition, when I have the panel setting on, the splits do, and I'll repeat that, they do have effect. So if I split my Nord Stage 3, uh, the panel B will take hold of those splits and my external keyboard will be able to play in a split mode, which is, again, mind-blowing when you think about it. Really awesome stuff. So that is the dual keyboard option for that. Now remember, I still have to turn on my sound engines on and off. But in this scenario, if I were to play the Nord Stage 3 under these conditions, all I could really control in terms of sound is A. If I push the keys, all I'm going to be able to get out of the Nord Stage 3 is stuff from panel A in terms of sound. Then on the external keyboard, all I'm going to be able to get is panel B. So in a sense, it's like taking your Nord Stage 3, splitting each panel into its own controller mechanism. The stage controls A, the external keyboard controls B. Very, very powerful. Okay, with that in mind, let's read some other exceptions here, and we'll then go and look at what it looks like in a live situation on the Nord Stage 3 itself. So just to reiterate, with organ, piano, and synth dual keyboard style, the Nord Stage 3 keyboard still controls all sound engines on both panel A and B, except for the one that has been selected for external control. With dual keyboard style set to panel, the Nord Stage 3 keyboard always controls panel A only, regardless of panel focus. All right, the dual keyboard setting is stored with a program along with other panel settings. So the beauty of this is as you switch programs, those dual keyboard settings will change with the program. The MIDI channel for the dual keyboard feature is set in the MIDI menu, which you saw ex extensively on my previous slides. Uh, let's talk quickly about the pedals and then we'll look at that live lesson here. When dual keyboard style is set to organ, piano, or synth, the Nord Stage 3, pitch stick, and sustain pedal will affect the selected sound engines according to how the respective panel controls are set. If sustain pedal and pitch stick are turned off on the panel, these are only controlled by incoming MIDI on the dual KB channel. In panel mode, the Nord Stage 3 pitch stick and sustain pedal never have effect in panel B regardless of panel settings. The local control pedal, modulation wheel, and aftertouch do not impact morphs assigned to sound engines that are in dual keyboard mode. A swell pedal connected to the Nord Stage 3 will also affect an externally played organ in dual keyboard mode. This is to accommodate dual manual organ setups. All parameter controls for panel B are still accessible from the Nord Stage 3. This means that organ drawbars, synth settings, etc. can be adjusted from the Nord Stage 3 even if the sound is being played from the external keyboard. Okay, I have the Nord Stage 3 here and I want to show you my MIDI settings. I just held the shift button and went into the MIDI menu here. So just right here. And I want to put the global channel first to one. Okay, and for a moment, let's just ignore the dual keyboard. Just put your program MIDI settings into one, channel one. Here on the Axiom 61, I have uh, the MIDI channel also set to one. Okay, so with that in mind, let's uh, see what that sounds like using traditional MIDI. What that means is when I play this keyboard here, it's going to play whatever the Nord Stage 3 is offering. At the moment, I have just panel A on and piano. So if I add a synth, you'll hear both the synth and the piano, like that. And then whatever I have on panel B, uh, let's just say I have an organ. So in a sense, when you have it straight to the MIDI channel, you're playing an exact carbon copy of everything the Nord Stage 3 uh, is offering, whether I play the Nord Stage 3 at this point, or the secondary keyboard, or the external keyboard, it's going to sound the same. It's going to be just like having another complete controller of your Nord Stage 3. So you could almost think of this as if you took your Nord Stage 3 and put it in a box, but had just one MIDI cable to it, this would be like uh, everything that the Nord Stage 3 is set to, you'd hear it from this keyboard. And that's just straight MIDI, traditional MIDI, nothing new or fancy about that. Just it's a carbon copy. Whatever I play here on the external keyboard is going to sound on the Nord Stage 3. The dual keyboard setting is completely different in the way that it works. So let's set that up now. All right, so here, going to hold the Shift button. And this time, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to turn off the global channel and just have my dual keyboard now set to channel 1 and watch the differences here. Okay, in this case, uh, the only thing I'm controlling is panel B. That's it. Panel A is out of the picture when it comes to controlling it from here, this external keyboard. So let's just uh, prove that point. If I push this in dual keyboard mode, 
which is right here, hold the shift button and push panel B, which is essentially dual keyboard. Uh, and if I click and hold that, let me show you, if I do it quickly, it's just gonna turn it on and off. But if I click and hold the panel B button while I'm holding the shift button, you'll see options here. Let me get you a close up of that. You'll see options here, I've got four options. Starting with the far left of the knob, turning counterclockwise, you actually have the panel option, which provides everything on panel B, almost as if it was a carbon copy of just the straight MIDI global N. So panel B, everything on panel B will be controllable by the external keyboard. This means only the organ is controllable. This means only the piano is controlled. And this means only the synth is controlled. So let's just look at the panel option because that's as close to the previous setting that I had. I'll just push this button here and we'll get out of that. Okay, so this is the panel option. That means everything on panel B is controlled by the external keyboard. So now I have dual keyboard mode on and you can see I've, I've got it positioned on panel A and I have a piano and a synth on panel A. So if I were to play the Nord right now, the Nord stage three, I'd hear both the synth and the piano. Okay, makes sense. That's what it's just showing here. Um, if I go to panel B and I play the Nord keyboard, I hear everything on panel A, but I don't hear that organ. In fact, I don't hear an additional piano and I don't hear an additional synth on panel B. Why? Because panel B has held hostage now by the external keyboard in its entirety because we set dual keyboard setting for panel versus organ versus synth versus piano. It was set for panel, which means in the entire panel B now is not going to sound here on the Nord Stage 3. Now if I go back to panel A and turn off the piano and the synth engine, I should hear nothing out of the Nord Stage 3. And that's exactly right, I hear nothing out of the Nord Stage 3. Even though panel B has the organ and the piano and the synth on, it's not locally controlled. It's only controlled externally. So I have here on the external keyboard, the organ, the piano, and the synth. Okay, so in a sense, you're taking all of panel B and saying, I want that to be playable over here on my external keyboard. Panel A is gonna be reserved for me on the Nord Stage 3 directly. So if you have a two keyboard stack, um, your second keyboard can be just a controller keyboard. And essentially you can split your Nord Stage 3 into two using that panel setting. Very powerful. And it works with the splits too. So if I were to split something here, right in the middle, and let's just say I want my piano on the right side and my synth on the left and take the organ off temporarily. Now my piano will be on the right and my synth will be on the left on this keyboard here, on the external keyboard. So it's pretty powerful when you consider that. Now let's change the setting up a little bit. Let me get you a close up of that. And we'll actually go back to dual keyboard settings and push and hold that. And I'm gonna change it from panel to just organ this time. And let's watch and see the differences there. Again, it's still panel B that we're talking about. Panel A has nothing to do with anything to do with the external keyboard because we're in dual keyboard mode. So on panel B, I have the piano and the synth sounding, not the organ, but I told it I want to control the organ, but the organ engine is off on panel B. What will happen? I should hear absolutely nothing out of this external keyboard. And that's the case. I, had, I hear nothing out of the external keyboard Yet, I can go here and hear piano and synth in their re relative split. All right, let me take the split off temporarily. And we'll go back here to the external keyboard and I'm going to uh, turn off the piano and the synth on panel B and just turn on the organ. And note, if you can see here, you may not be able to see it from, from your vantage point, but the organ engine is on, but I don't get the choice to, uh, I don't see any indicator lights. And there's my organ on the external keyboard. Now over here on the stage three, because the organ is being held hostage by the external keyboard and the piano and synth engines are off, I should hear nothing throughout the whole keyboard. So hopefully you're getting your head around this. Let me keep going. Now if I add the piano on the stage three, I should be able to hear the piano because that one is not being held hostage um, and neither is the synth for that matter. I use that word held hostage uh, only because it brings home the idea of who's controlling what. So now on my external, I have just the organ playable and over here I have the piano and the synth. Again, a neat way to split things up and to segregate the keyboard depending on what you're uh, doing. 
All right, now let's change those panel settings one more time here, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm going to change the dual keyboard settings one more time here, and I'm going to change it from organ to piano this time, which means I'm going to take control of the piano from the external keyboard, and that's the only engine I have control over at this point. So when I play the external keyboard here, I hear piano, and over here I should only hear the remaining engine sounding, which is organ and synth. There's the synth, there's the organ. Piano is on, but not controllable here with the Nord Stage 3. Now you might say, well, what if I change something on the piano? What if I lower the volume on the piano? Will that affect, will the external keyboard uh, see the results of that? Absolutely. Anything I do over here on the piano engine, including the EQ or even changing, is totally um, okay to do on the Nord Stage 3, and it'll just simply be controlled via MIDI from the external keyboard here. So that's uh, a little bit about the subtleties of that. Of course, you can do the same thing with the synth too. So it gives you, the keyboard player, amazing options, capabilities, and flexibility with that dual keyboard as you learned in the first part of the video. Uh, and here it is in practical. Now, setting this up couldn't be easier. All you need to do is have an external uh, controller keyboard or any keyboard. It could even be another Nord for that matter. Anything that can send MIDI signal out. And I'm going MIDI out from this keyboard to MIDI in on the Nord Stage 3. That's it. MIDI out to MIDI in. Well, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you are interested in more, feel free to subscribe to the channel. There's quite a few videos already on the Nord Stage 3, a few on the Electro 5, and a few on the Electro 6, but more on the way. If you want to learn your Nord Stage 3 from A to Z, or the Electro 5, or the Electro 6 for that matter coming soon, feel free to go to mykeystomusic.com and you'll get uh, really complete and comprehensive training. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.